Hey, how's it going guys and welcome to the first Persona 5 video on the channel. Today we're going to be checking out six things you should really consider doing before returning to the Komashida's Castle dungeon. I'm referring to the time we get the choice of going back when we hit the deadline of May the 2nd. So we definitely don't want to rush into this, even though the NPCs like Ryuju and Anne do try to pressure us every single day to try and make us hurry up. Don't give in to the peer pressure, let's find out a few things we should definitely be doing to prepare before we head in. So one of the things I would really recommend doing as early as possible is learning how to brew coffee at the Blank Cafe. And to do this, all we need to do is wait for Sojido Sakura to give us the opportunity to work there in exchange of teaching us how to brew coffee. So obviously we want to accept that deal. Um, the reason this is such a good idea and so important is because the coffee we brew here is one of the only items, especially in early game, that we can use inside the dungeons to recover our SP, which you'll find out soon enough is going to be pretty important inside the dungeons. So once we have learned how to brew the coffee, all we need to do is come into the Leblanc Cafe anytime there's no customers, like in the evenings, and go to the counter and we'll be able to brew our coffee. This will, however, use up the rest of our evening and take us into the next day, which leads us into our second thing we should be doing before heading into the castle, which is make sure we don't waste any of our evenings. This early on in the game, there's not really many things we can do as we can't leave the district. However, there are three important major things we can do even inside the LeBlanc Cafe to spend our evenings without going to bed and wasting them. So what I mean by this is don't just go to bed to end any of the days. We want to make sure we're making the most of every single day we waste here before the deadline. Um, so one of the ways, like we said, is brewing coffee down here at the counter, which I would recommend doing two or three of the evenings to make sure we have a few at least of the items recharge our SP. Another two or three of the evenings I would recommend spending upstairs training on the chair, which will increase our max HP. If only by a few, these could save our life more than once inside the dungeon. And the third thing we can do to spend the evenings is build some infiltration tools over here at the desk. In case you don't have the options to do this and the room looks untidy still and you can't actually do these things, all you need to do is make sure you have cleaned up your room, which normally it actually recommends you to do anyway, so most of you have probably already done that, but if you haven't, make sure you clean the room, definitely worth it, definitely very important. The next thing we want to make sure we've done before we head back into the castle is do at least the first medical trial down at the clinic, which will open up the possibility of buying more medicine items down at the clinic, which is always a good idea. I wouldn't recommend wasting any more time after the first medical trial if you've got other stuff to do before preparing, you can always do that a little bit later on in the game, as rank 2 won't unlock any more medicine until we get to rank 3. Another thing we should really think about doing not only before this dungeon, but in general as early as possible in the game, is picking up a part-time job. We can do this by coming down to the underground and picking up a part-time job magazine and choose from there which one we want, depending obviously on the money, the time of the day, and what skills it's going to increase. Obviously the main reason for this is to obtain some valuable yen before heading into the castle. Which leads us into our next point. With this cash, don't forget to pick up some more weapons, not only the initial ones you go the first time you visit the weapon shop. I recommend buying at least one of the weapons, even if it's the cheaper version, for each of the characters instead of just going into the castle with one OP character with one OP weapon. If we spend two or three days working, we should have enough money in no time to pick up a decent amount of weapons. And the sixth and final tip I can give you before heading into the castle is come over here to the Central Street and check out this store right here which sells us some cheaper versions of the medicine. For example, for mere 120 yen, we can actually buy medicine that recharges 20 HP, which doesn't seem like much. However, if we go over to the clinic, the medicine to recharge 50 HP costs 800 yen. So if we do the maths, it's definitely a better idea to buy the cheaper ones. Obviously, there are situations in combat where we're going to need to recharge more health quicker. So obviously we need a few of the more expensive ones, but if we do have time to recharge our HP and we're in no rush, the cheap ones are definitely the way to go. But anyway guys, hope you did enjoy this first Persona 5 video on the channel. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.